Amanda Burke. So follow up to the 13 March event. How long is the gala? Clips we have seen are pretty short, but I'm assuming hours? Are people regged at this particular event? Also, there's only so much biographical data on LRH, so do they just recycle old material and repack it? What about the entertainment? All right, so the gala, which is the Celebrity Center Gala, which is a celebrity event. So I actually never attended a CC gala event. However, I did set them up. <laughs> when I was on the RPF, we would go over there and, and uh, spend all day for days building the stage and the columns and setting up the tables and doing all this crazy work. Um, but here's what I can tell you about the gala, is it's mainly celebrities and their entourage, high-level VIP Scientologists and uh, their entourage and, you know, bigwigs of the Scientology world go to the gala. It's sort of the premier event, the place to see and be seen as far as the Scientology world is concerned. And they uh, generally all come, there's a, you know, there's a five-star dinner served. There's entertainment with singers and, you know, that sort of thing. And then some big wig, including chairman of the board, David Miscavige, has even gone personally and given presentations and speeches at the CC Gala. I think, generally speaking, Miscavige doesn't always show up to that thing. Uh, I think it's only been once or twice that he's actually shown up. But they'll usually have the commanding officer, the captain of the Celebrity Center, he'll do a speech and or maybe the president of Celebrity Center, which is a different person from the person. There's a person who actually runs the organization, that's the commanding officer, and then there's the president, which is a PR position, and is sort of the person who's in charge of the public face of Celebrity Center, and uh, the, the president's office are, is the office that deals with uh, and handles all the celebrities. Anything having to do with celebrities goes through the president's office. Unless, of course, it's Tom Cruise or something like that, which David Miscavige is handling personally, in which case he tells the president's office to screw off. But generally speaking, celebrities are being dealt with by the president's office. So, um, so it's kind of a big, you know, the gala is a big black tie affair. And once the food is served and the presentations are done, there's a lot of mingling and networking going on. It's a big networking event, basically, for the, for the bigwig Scientologists. And yes, absolutely, there's plenty and tons of regging going on. Because these are people who have a lot of money. And Scientology is all about the Benjamins. So they are all over these people at this event. Uh, but in a celebrity way, okay? So it's, you know, and I don't know all about regging celebrities. I just know that it's not always done the same way that you would see it done with normal, regular Joe Scientologists. Uh, you know, I don't think you're gonna see too often, well, actually, I really can't say. I think you're gonna see high pressure sales tactics uh, taken out on celebrities, just like you are regular Scientologists, but not in the middle of the gala. They might take them off into a room or something and do that. And they're not going to leave a celebrity in an upset state of mind, ever. That, that would be a huge, huge, huge no-no. Uh, you would never, ever want to do something like that. So, you know, I don't know how they go about it, but they, you know, they're definitely going to try to get money out of these people at this gala because they spend a lot of money putting the gala on and they expect to get much, much, much more than just a... Uh, you know, parody of return on investment. They want to make money. Uh, that's what I can say about the gala.